Hey everyone, uh, I figured it was time to come back with a new series on Transport Fever 2. Uh, now that there's a new uh, update coming, uh, it's out in beta now as I'm recording this. So I figure, hey, I'll get started. There's been a few patches. It seems fairly stable. So um, yeah, uh, let's just uh, get stuck in here. So we'll go with a free game. I'm going to go with a huge map. One-to-one, -one, medium towns, uh, low industries. Uh, all of this stuff as is. And this uh, seed, uh, which is uh, five question marks, gives this uh, layout here. Out of curiosity, does it give the same layout on Megalomaniac? No. No. So we'll just go with huge. Okay, uh, so that's going to, so we'll let this uh, show us here. So that gives us towns all over the place here, right? Uh, we got 25 towns, um, a bunch of uh, branches on the river, all that jazz, right? So we'll go on next. So we're having 1850, I'm gonna do hard income. And that's just so that uh, money doesn't go crazy quite as quickly. Uh, there is a new difficulty of very hard. I haven't figured out how to not lose on that one uh, yet. Uh, and it'll be very tedious even if I do figure that out. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 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 that's not the point of this, uh, this series. So, um, a new thing is the towns can have back to all possible demands. Uh, same as it was in Transport Fever uh, 1. And that, um, that's cool, but they don't start out that way. They start out with two, and then as the buildings level up, they gain more. Uh, we'll have it set so industries close often, uh, and we'll have, this is new as well, industries can close, and new ones can open, and we'll have new industries targeting a very high density. Uh, now, the whole point of this is to end up with a map that's absolutely crazy, right? Um, Industries all over the place, you know, a, a dense industrial area, basically. Uh, and in here, I'm just going to show that we've got just the achievements with mods. And it's dry, all vehicles, American town names, so I have a hope of pronouncing them. Uh, dry environment, um, all of these things set at default. Okay, so uh, we'll just uh, start this. Okay. Um, now there's a, a couple other things that uh, we gain with uh, this update. Uh, one of the big ones is you can actually expand station storage capacity with uh, add-on components. Uh, and another big one is alternate platforms for lines. And that, um, that will give us the ability to have better throughput for busy lines. Uh, especially with long trains. So, uh, f say you've got a freight line, like say you're doing a mainline service where you've got, uh, you know, 400 meter long trains or something like that, right? Uh, so, uh, it takes a while for a train to enter the platform, it takes a while for it to load and unload, and then it takes a while for it to leave the platform. But, and as that stands in the old uh, releases, the trains have to wait until the platform is cleared by the departing train before it can move into the platform. And that really slows down throughput. Now, if you could have two platforms, then you could have a train uh, leaving and another one arriving simultaneously on a separate platform. Now, I'm going to freeze time in 1850. Uh, and that's just because I want to have some time to get some stuff going uh, with uh, the 1850s uh, trains. Uh, you get something built out. Uh, now, let's find a uh, starting point here. Um, uh, I'm looking for a decent length uh, connection between uh, a primary industry and a uh, secondary one. So this one would do. 
Uh, let's just take another, just take a quick survey around here. Uh, okay, I don't see anything here. No. No. Nothing I want to start with anyway. Uh, now, one of the uh, one of the requirements I'm imposing on this uh, uh, series is that uh, it's not is that just uh, adding new lines all over the place willy nilly with no connection to what's already uh, deployed is um, not desired. Okay, so. Uh, the idea is, you know, f find uh, somewhere that we can connect some stuff to, right? And I intend to do both passenger and freight. Uh, it's, you know, the frame rate's going to die long before I get to this point on this, but uh, I was thinking of doing an every producer, every consumer type uh, connection uh, setup, right? Okay, so... We've got a couple of things we can do in this area. We've got this oil connection here, um, which we could potentially do. Yeah. Uh, now we could bring it from here or we could bring it from here. Uh, we could also bring it down from here for a much longer distance. Or we could do the uh, wood to uh, sawmill thing here. Um, um, which one do I think I want to do? Hmm. And there's, I think, I thought I saw one. And there's a really long line bringing this down to here but that's too far and this is too convoluted initially okay uh how flat is that you know that's a good question okay let's get the uh oh i want to turn uh those off uh right uh get this on so here we're at 11 meters and here we're at 9.1, so it's a almost no difference in elevation for those. Okay, what about this one? 8.6. So we could come across, I think this path here, this path here is probably better. Okay. Right. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's get stuck in on building the first... Uh, line. So we're going to grab one of those. I'm going to make them 120 meter platforms. And we'll go ahead and put that on there. Yep. And put this on here. Yep. And then we'll just grab a track. Uh, yeah. And we'll just wang it across here. And that gives us not an unreasonable uh, track. Okay, so we'll just take that track. Yep. Okay. Uh, bring that out just a little bit. And we'll stick a... Nope. Uh, we'll stick a uh, depot on there. And... Now, here's the, the thing. I'm going to get this up here. Uh, we're going to go in here, and I'm going to grab a Baldwin. Now, I'm going to do this with a single train so that I don't have to have passing tracks. Um, so I'm going to put a dual head on it, and we're going to go cargo. Now, I'm going to pick this tank car because it's lighter. Six tons versus ten tons, uh, and for an extra thirty-three percent weight, we do not get a a thirty-three percent increase in uh, capacity, um, do we? Uh, five it goes up by two. 
Well, that's a 40% increase. All oh, right, uh, that's a 60% uh, increase in, in uh, weight. Okay, right. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of these on here. Eh, we'll go with 180 capacity. Yes, this is absolutely dreadful. Um, but I'm I'm gonna do this and just you know, just see how that goes. I can sell some of those uh, uh, cars if uh, it's not gonna work. Uh, but we need to get up to enough to buy the train. Yep. Okay. Uh, now we need a new line, which will go here to here. Now that's, uh, okay. Now that's the Ann Arbor oil well, number two, to Tempe oil refinery. Okay. Uh, Ann Arbor oil well two to Tempe oil refinery. That's oil Okay, now uh, I have set the date, yep, yeah, I've set that to uh, stopped. Okay, now uh, we'll keep this open and I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to get the train up. I, I want to show you something in this, uh, this window here uh, when it gets to the uh, gets to the station because they've also added a penalty for trains that are longer than the platform uh, loading and unloading uh, and uh, yeah uh, well you'll see it in a moment here uh, this yeah uh, now my hope is that there will be a like 180 oil oh uh, uh, manage line. Let's make this uh, full load. Okay. Uh, okay. So we make it wait for a full load. Okay. So this here is the thing uh, that I wanted to uh, point out. Loading speed. Minus 115%. So it is loading, right? but it's loading slow uh, compared to uh, if the thing fit on the platform, right? And that's fine. Uh, for freight, that's definitely fine. So let's just up the tempo here. Um, and that uh, this whole, this isn't that big of a deal for, for freight. Uh, at least I haven't found it to be. But I want to get a full uh, load on the first uh, train there so that we can have a, uh, an idea on what the delivery is going to be. Now, the conventional wisdom is on hard. You need to have a tr the train be full both ways. But, oh, well, it only got 126. It waited too long. Uh, that's fine. 126 is better than empty, right? So, um, yeah, and that's just gonna that's gonna build up now. Uh, meanwhile, the train. Uh, well, it is. It's making decent time considering how loaded it is. So that's not uh, that's not too bad. Now, uh, what I want to see here. Uh, the the important thing is how much it makes when it uh, drops off, right? I'd ride the train, but it's not going to be terribly exciting. It's a single track going places, right? Uh, swan necking across the desert, right? Uh, and we're just about at the destination.
That looks just awesome, though, doesn't it? Uh, okay. And we're getting 679k uh, for that. Uh, for the initial uh, delivery. Uh, now the question is, uh, when it gets back there and it loads up, how much is waiting here? A full load. Okay. Uh, when it gets back there and loads up, uh, will it uh, allow the uh, this to uh, break even, right? Uh, our first uh, reporting period here is never going to break even, so don't worry about the finances there. Uh, that's just the way it works, right? It's just not going to break even because we're building the initial thing here. But, see, here we go. Here's new um, uh, industries opening up, and that's the, uh, the sort of thing here. Uh, now, we do get a bit of a cheat uh, because of the length of the train, when it flips, it gets uh, it's closer to the destination than it was on the first run. Uh, yeah, that's going to uh, you know so that that's a bit of a cheat, but we'll just consider it to be an abstraction of uh, the the train station. Say that there's uh, either a turning loop built into all of this or. Uh, there's a, a turntable and a runaround track or something like that. Right. Um, okay, we're just about at the... Uh, no, we're not. We're a fair chunk of the way there, though. Uh, now, I want to see uh, what this one pays off. It should be... 800k or so. Oh, something else. The settings on these things should save as well. Uh, okay, so we drop off, and what's the payoff? 970. Okay. Uh, so this train will uh, will make money. I, because this was the running cost in the first year, and this is the payoff, right? So, uh, for one trip. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure it will, this will uh, make money. Okay. It will take a while to accumulate enough to do anything there. In the meantime, let's uh, take a look here. Uh, we have... Uh, we have a fuel demand there, so is there a fuel refinery anywhere in reasonable range? No. Okay. Well, there's a fuel refinery way down here. That's a long way. Yeah, yeah it is. But you could run the line here you can run here 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 um that would be interesting oh see there we go an industry popped up right uh okay where are we? So we're up 46k in uh, that uh, that one, right? Uh, obviously, uh, we would like to be making a lot more, uh, but it's the loan that's costing us, right? Now, can we make a little bit more? Okay, we we're gonna we have a couple hundred waiting there. Uh, why don't I go in here, go in here, and edit this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we go a nice even 200 capacity, yeah. Uh, modify. 
Yeah. Okay. That will uh, increase the payoff a little bit more on each each run. Take it over a million on the pay, uh, I think. Not that, that'll be uh, you know some some level of maybe good, because uh, we're definitely accumulating enough there to be worth it. Uh, right. I could run this on toward the chemical plant, actually. But no. Huh. I think maybe... Maybe... Are you going to say what, maybe? Nah, nah, I thought I'd just hem and haw about it. Well, you should just say what, maybe. Right, okay. Maybe I could bring uh, logs down to the uh, sawmill here. Yeah, you could possibly do that. But, yeah, and that's close enough in the area uh, that, as, uh, we can, uh, that I can reasonably uh, accept it, I think. Okay, well, well, if you're going to do that, you're going to need to borrow money, and you're going to need to be able to buy a train. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a major factor, isn't it? Being able to buy a train. Definitely a major factor. Um... Okay, uh, this one, uh, what's the payoff on it? Uh, 1.07 million. Okay, well, let's repay part of the, uh, the loan just so that uh, we come out slightly better uh, uh, in the cost department. Uh, right, okay. Well, if I pause it, I've got 3.8 million that I, I could get an initial uh, train running back and forth there. Um, okay, so I could put that there. And this here. Yep. Yeah. And then grab a track. Find out how much this is going to cost to build. No. Okay, this is going to cost... Uh, uh, a decent amount of cash. Um... Yeah, that looks okay. Okay. I could delete this to save a couple couple dollars, but uh, I'm going to put a uh, uh, depot over here as well, because that's going to be cheaper than uh, building track across there, right? Uh, let's max out the loan by... Uh, locos will single head that one cargo it's going to be a flat car uh, five tons for four ten tons for seven yeah okay okay so that's about the trade-off I had for the other one uh, it's wait um, hundred capacity can't quite do hundred capacity uh, how uh, yeah let's grab that one okay uh, that's going to be a new line going here. 
to here. Yep. Uh, and that's uh, uh, Cleveland Forest 2 to Cleveland Sawmill. Yep. Uh, Forest 2 Sawmill. Okay. Now, I've maxed out the, uh, the loan here, so I'm not going to be able to do anything for a minute here. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, we just need to let everything run back and forth. You, uh, we're going to ride this one. Uh, you know, just uh, partly so time passes and partly so that uh, we can enjoy the landscape, right? That was a rock. Yeah, yeah, that was a rock. You're right. It was definitely a rock. That's a, a level crossing. Yeah, yeah, that's a level crossing. Didn't look terrible either. Um, right. Oh, look at scrub. Yes. Well, you get that in the uh, dry terrain. No, we got a little bit of a... Uh, uh, well, there's an embankment here after we come out of a cut. Yeah, you know, these uh, engineers laying the track, you know, they uh, they know their stuff most of the time. Uh, right. Okay. What have we got here? A station. Okay. And we are going to... 173k. Uh for a half load okay now uh, we're up 380k on the trains here let's look at what our costs are maintenance infrastructure tracks that's costing us 50 58k uh, but running costs are, are uh, dinging us by a million right uh, so yeah uh, we need to definitely, oh, we just, uh, we just paid off on this one. Uh, yeah. So if I, I could edit this one and add. No, I can't because it just went too low. Ah, we got a uh, Conmats plant. Yep. Okay, so we were 900k up on uh, railroad uh, on that uh, that term, and that's because we had a delivery, right? We had two deliveries, I think. Yeah. So that was a particularly good one. Yeah. Now this guy is going to drop another 200 of those down there. Okay, so that one is showing a net positive. This one won't be yet. But what's our 96 going to bring in? That's uh, a useful question, isn't it? Uh, what's our 96 uh, wood going to bring in? Where is it? Over there. Okay. So we didn't have enough cash to uh, make a, a really big train here. So we just have a merely big train. So this should be uh, a decent payoff. 570. Yeah, okay. So those two combined should uh, give us a net profit that's uh, decent. This guy's just about to deliver as well. And here it comes. 
There we go. So we'll repay part of the loan. We'll edit this. Add. Just for my CDO, we'll get that uh, a full 100 capacity there. Okay. Close that. Right. Now, if we go and we look in the lines list, uh, the first line we, we set up uh, was uh, 1.2 million is 1.2 million up, and this one's 92 130k up, right? So those two combined should mean that the uh, money situation improves over time. Uh, uh, and uh, the whole idea is I want to get the loan interest off of the books, uh, you know, for for now, like while while we're waiting for money to build up, pay off the loan so you save a few a few K, right? Um, yeah, that's the idea anyway. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we're. We lost $22 in that uh, year, but that's because I bought a rail car, right? Um, so uh, it would have been 100K up if, uh, if I hadn't bought the rail car. So that's, um, that's the, the thing there, right? Um, and we also paid off uh, well, we're in the hole here on our current account by a fair margin, uh, but that's because I uh, cut a uh, cut the loan. It they really should set it so that you pay interest on this, but uh, they haven't. So, uh, so we're we're uh, about a hundred k up on each one of those. Yeah, uh, they're both about to deliver. So that one almost brings it positive. This one will bring it positive. There we go. Yep. Let's uh, let's knock another uh, chunk of the loan down. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's basically uh, this is one of the reasons I want to lock time. So, because we, we have limited investment uh, opportunities we can take advantage of. And because of that, uh, we can't just, uh, okay, well, I want to build this other thing over here. And uh, we've got a new investment that we can take, you know, we can't just go and find new investors, right, is what I'm saying. Uh, so, uh, by keeping the time locked, uh, we can have... What I feel is a little more realistic uh, time frame in the two, in, in each time period, right? But the idea I I want to ha I have here is uh, to get a few services um, built, right, and then start uh, trying to network everything. Uh, so we're we're currently up three hundred ninety five k. Um, I think that means we'll end up with uh, a net positive for the year. I think we should because our costs here are only 90k. Yeah, it's close. Oh. I could do this and save a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of cheaty, but uh, uh, we don't need to spend the maintenance on those. So why spend the maintenance on them, right? Uh, right. Uh, hopefully that uh, so we were up 16k uh, in the previous year uh, you know that's not a absolutely brilliant amount 
uh, but it's partly due to the timing of the deliveries, right? Because we just had a delivery come through. Um, okay, so uh, we're down to eight and a half million in loan. Um, yeah. Uh, track maintenance isn't going to go down appreciably. Um, building maintenance might. Uh, yeah. Uh, it might go down noticeably at least. Um, but our uh, vehicle maintenance, 1.5 million. Income, 1.6 million, right? Uh, that's why you want it full both ways if you can. Uh, not the easiest thing to achieve, though. Okay. Um, well, I guess the question then is, uh, what, uh, what's the next, uh, delivery to do? Uh, I think it's to deliver the refined oil somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? This, uh, connection might be the, uh, one to do. Um, yeah, or, no, uh, yeah, we don't have any good, uh, connections that we can use to do two-way here. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Okay, well, we've got a food, f oh, I could bring food up to here. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Uh, well, the, uh, grain rather up to uh, up to here. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, I definitely could. Now we have a machines factory. Um, okay. Where did it put it? It's here. Okay. Uh, so that's going to make the uh, the map a little harder to deal with as well, is the uh, additional industry showing up, right? Uh, anyway, um, we are, we have just done a delivery and uh, What? Oh, uh, right. It uh, came through in the previous year. Uh, so 1.2 million up there, right? Um, yeah. Okay. And this guy came in in this year. Okay. I see what happened. Uh, so we've got a million and a half roughly to, uh, that we could invest in something. And I don't see anything that we can invest in that would make any money. Not for that much. So I'm going to have to wind this forward a bit before the next part. And uh, get enough cash in that we can actually do something. Um, cash is, however, going up slowly. So there we go. Uh, so I guess... Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know all that business. Uh, or dislike if you prefer. And if you turn on the bell, you get some notifications of new videos. Um, I'm planning to do this weekly for the uh, uh, next little bit. Uh, I might go up to twice weekly. Uh, depends how it's going. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. See you back next time.